I'm at the house at 2214 Cypress Tree in the Timber Lane subdivision. Going to give you 360 of the neighborhood here. This is an established neighborhood. We got lots of mature trees. You can hear all the birds. All right, so we got nice mature tree here in the front. This is a unique house. When we take a look inside, this is a four bedroom, two bath, split level home. Square footage is roughly 2,096 square feet. All right, we're gonna start at the up, upper portion of this home. Let me do the layout here. So we have the landing and we got the downstairs and the upstairs. Actually, we're gonna start upstairs first. Um, let's go up the stairs and just make this easier. Describe it when we get to the top here. All right, so the floor plan at the top of the stairs, we got the living room dining room combination back towards uh, around the corner here we got the kitchen which also leads through there here we have a bathroom and around the corner we'll have three more bedrooms so let's start at the uh, front here got a large living room area you can also make this a dining formal dining area combination here it's a very large open area we got a uh, nice neutral paint Carpet looks to be uh, fairly new. Um, no noticeable stains. This area leads into the kitchen. Got a nice overhang here so you can put some stools, use it as an additional eating area. Have a nice uh, dark tile counters. Got your flat top stove. Uh, got your ice maker connection for your refrigerator. Let's go on this side. Dual sinks. And got your dishwasher. Then this can be your informal dining area or your eat-in area. You can put a smaller table here for your day-to-day -day, um, meals. Here we have the washer-dryer hookups and you have some extra shelves to use as your uh, pantry. You can probably put another uh, shelf in there, freestanding shelf to increase your storage space. Off of the kitchen, we got a balcony area. Nice trees. Good size yard, we'll see that more from the downstairs. So you get your, your balcony area to uh, relax over there. All right, now let's head out. Well, before we do that, just show the, the other surface of there. So you can see that's the, the uh, where you can put some stools there for a uh, breakfast bar. All right, so we're gonna head off to the left. We got a uh, full bath. Now this bath also connects to one of the bedrooms, so you have direct access there. You got the uh, tub and shower combination there. All right, so here at the top, here we got uh, bedroom number two, bedroom number three, and bedroom number four. We'll start bedroom number two. This is the largest of the secondary bedrooms. Uh, this is roughly 14, 14 feet by 14 feet. So this is a large area. So if you have a, um, another adult or an older kid, uh, this would be perfect for them. They have room for large furniture, big bed, dressers, etc., and still have lots of room. As you see, this is also again the entry to the uh, bathroom. Here we have walk-in closet. We have blinds in all the uh, windows here and all the bedrooms do have a ceiling fan. 
So again, this is one of the largest uh, secondary bedrooms. We'll head over to bedroom number three. This is still a good size, about 10 feet across, but it is 14 feet deep. So it is larger than average. And then again, a good size uh, walk-in closet. That's set up underneath that ledge to uh, oops, focus there. That's set up underneath that ledge to hold hangers. So although it's, it's, it looks closed off, that actually is a place you can hang hangers uh, close across underneath there. All right, and let's head to bedroom number four. Okay, this is a little bit smaller bedroom. Um, you could also maybe use this as a uh, office or study. That may be perfect, or if you uh, want to use it as a nursery, that would probably be ideal usage. Got another closet there. We're going to go downstairs now. So upstairs, as I go down, you can see that's the living room, dining area. Downstairs, we have the, uh, which could be the, the family room. Um, you got the fireplace, uh, wood burning fireplace. This is also another large space here, so make that your game area. Let's head off here. Okay, so let's lay out the, the, the downstairs here now. Um, same back. So we got the master bedroom here, linen closet. That is going to be the door to the garage and then under the staircase storage. Let's go through the garage. It's a two car garage. Uh, it's got separate garage doors. So you don't have to wonder if you're parked too far over or not. If you make it through the door, you should be lined up correctly. It, it is uh, deep, deeper than average. Uh, so you can fit a longer vehicle here, maybe a truck or something that's gonna hang out a little bit further. Um, this area here, you could park your car closer so you have more room or you could back up. You got lots of shelving here, and that is a door to the exterior. We're gonna go through the door from the downstairs masters to look at the backyard. Then under the car, under the staircase storage. And then one more closet here. Oh, that's the extra bathroom. So the downstairs bathroom does similar to the upstairs bathroom where it connects to a bedroom. Uh, this is uh, your shower, it's a stand-up shower, it's um, wide, um, it's got linoleum, uh, laminate floors, and this also leads to the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom is uh, very large, you could definitely fit a king size bed, uh, it's about uh, 19 feet by about 14 feet, so this is a very good size bedroom, ceiling fan again, neutral colors, easily fit a king bed, larger dressers, nightstand, etc. Then we got the walk-in closet shelving got lots of hanging space here and you can again put some maybe some drawers uh, dressers in there for additional storage got the vertical blinds and then the access to the backyard so you got the fenced yard you got nice mature trees good size yard Goes all the way around. So if you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, please, please call Liberty Management at toll free at 855-347-3761. Thank you.